Hey, sweethearts, it's Rowan, and I thought since, um, oh dear, so I've spent a good portion of today scripting, uh, scripting a, uh, my, um, monologue, basically, for a, uh, a new video, or rather a series of videos. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep it to three parts, um, and I also need to script, um, the, uh, the video book report for, um, uh, Breeding Discontent. I know I've got at least one person who is really hoping to see that soon, um, because she's one of the writers. But, ah, I thought just for something a little lighter, since I got a new, um, uh, Cartomancy deck, I was going to, uh, I figured I'd show off, um, all of my decks. So, this is the, uh, um, Art Nouveau Astrological Oracle deck, and this, uh, this offers a, uh, the, there's the, um, the little booklet inside, which, you know, most of these have come with. Uh, this is, this is a little heftier than you typically see. Um, coming with, you know, like your basic tarot deck, uh, especially considering how many cards are actually in this deck. And there's a couple different kinds of readings. Sometimes I find it's just as effective to um, do something that I just kind of made my own out of this, which is, um, you know, like I lightly shuffle each um, each portion of the deck, so the, um, the, uh, the zodiac symbols of the, you know, classical zodiac, as well as the, um, the classical astrological planets, and then just pick one of each. The readings, it's, you know, the, uh, the kinds of readings it suggests in here, okay, that's, um, about the deck, and so there's this circle of houses reading, first you take the, uh, the, the zodiac, um, portion, and you, um, and you put it, and you shuffle it slightly, and then put it on, or not slightly, you, sh you shuffle it, and then, like, arrange it in the, uh, in the little 12-point wheel thing, and then you take the planetary deck, and, um, uh, and, let's see, choose one at random, placing it in the appropriate house to the, um, question you are asking the deck, and, I've done, oh god, I haven't done one of those kinds of uh, readings, even just as a self-reading uh, for practice, in a while. It also has this divine dialogue reading. In this reading, two planetary powers put their heads together to offer you advice and guidance uh, to begin separate star cards from the planetary cards, so star cards would be the zodiac, and set them aside. Okay, so this is, so I kind, so, and then you just take two um, of the, uh, of the, um, of the astrological planetary cards, and, uh, read those together, so, you know, it all, you know, and it gives you little info on that, uh, you know, so, so, like, Luna and Jupiter, so the moon and Jupiter. Like I said, I, uh, I also do my kind of one some, you know, more often. should also say, I have exactly three tarot decks out of all of these, so... <laughs> Uh, it's not so much that I don't like tarot, um, I, I like it enough when I've gotten readings from other people, it's just, I like the oracle decks, uh, cause each one is different, and this technically, this one is the, uh, Art Nouveau, uh, Lenormand, which is a specific kind of oracle deck. Lenormand is a specific kind of oracle deck. Uh, I forget the origins of which, but, um, I know it was fairly popular, um, 19th century, I believe it might be a French origin, but, I don't know, you can find out. So, um, you get a deck with, yeah, 36 cards, each with a nut, each, you know, with its own, um, um, symbolism. And, you know, for, you know, each Lenormand is going to be, you know, the same symbols per, you know, 36 cards. Uh, there's a, there's a new Lenormand, um, 
that adds another two cards, I believe, so it's 38 cards in that one. I don't know their reasonings for doing that, but I'm actually kind of interested in looking through it just to see how that differs. So, let's see, 29 is a woman. And the way you read uh, Lenormand, you, um, it's, you know, so like with Tarot, you shuffle the deck and then you, um, and then you do a spread of cards, but uh, Lenormand, you kind of read the, um, you, you read the cards as, you know, kind of like a story or, you know, a sentence. So, you know, say, uh, so you need a minimum of two for a reading. Uh, some people read, you know, will do a reading of, uh, when I was looking online just to see, like, how, um, some people suggest reading Lenormand. Um, some will do it up to five cards per reading. So, uh, let's see, we've got, um, actually this one was on top, so 33 and 6 would be these two as I pull them, and so, let's see, 33, uh, that's, that's the key, that's a key, she's got a key, yep, 33 is the key, uh, generally, um, solution, breakthrough, answer, uh, revelation, opening, doors, descriptors, important, key, as in significant, open, subtle, revealed, solved. Aspect is positive, uh, sample pairs, and, um, and so that, the other one was six, and six is, uh, yeah, six is clouds, um, as we see. Uh, confusion, ambiguity, thoughts, illusions, uh, doubt, chaos, indecision, depression, gloom, uh, descriptors, confused, hidden, ambiguous, unclear, uh, depressed, diluted, aspect is negative. So, um, uh, it does not give an example with uh, key and clouds, or clouds and key even. So, you know, the way we would read this is, you know, there is something significant uh, coming um, you know, there is something significant coming, you know, whether it be an event or a person, but it might, but it may be obscured at first, you know, which would be the clouds. So, you know, it's a very direct, um, oracle deck, Lenormand, you know, um, and like I said, I just, I don't know, I, I like the, uh, I like the differences between oracle decks and, you know, Lenormand, obviously. Uh, then this one. This one is probably my favorite. I've, I'm actually surprised that the box isn't more beaten up than it is. <laughs> um, this is the Vintage Wisdom Oracle, and I, I have probably used this a lot more than some of the others by Victoria Mosley. And... So, this... Okay, yeah, these aren't even numbered, but, um, and I'm not sure what she was going with the, uh, different colors on the borders for some of these. It's not really made clear in the little book that comes with it, but she, uh, she did the art. It's basic, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's collage, you know, a uh, digital collage, apparently. And, you know, so she's got all these photos, a lot of vintage photos that have been, you know, touched and edited and colorized on some of them, and this, oh shit, oh, I can't remember if, I know there's one picture in here which really sold me on the deck, which, you know, uh, I don't think it's that picture, but, um, it's clearly like an old, uh, Thetabara photo. Now, I don't think that's Betty White in one of her old pinup ones, but it, I know Betty White there's somewhere on the internet with an old pinup, you know, where she's, you know, in that pose with a similar kind of thing, and then there was others from that same set with her topless, and I did not need to know that Betty White posed topless. Oh, I think that's an anime Wong publicity still. I'm trying to find the one that I think is the- oh, shit, 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 shit. I was just reading about this, uh, this woman, this dancer, and I can't, um, tell you her name. I'm spending too much time looking for that. Uh, Thetabara still that's definitely a part of this deck, but 
and I wanted to show what you know this uh, what what Victoria uh, Mosley yeah Victoria Mosley um, did with that picture. Damned if I can find, and I'm not going to waste the whole video um, looking for it. This one, this one, I really liked when I got it, but the longer I have it and the more I look through it, um, I'm just kind of like meh on it. So uh, uh, Victoria Francis Oracle cards. You know, she's a bit of a, uh, <laughs> kind of a cheesy gothic artist. Some of the, uh, the cheesy, like, Jim Vargo, uh, God, that's it! Oh, oh, shit, 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 that Amy, that Amy, what's her name? Amy something or other, and she's an artist, and she's known for doing those cheesy-ass fairies. Yeah, that's who Victoria Francis's work reminds me of, of, like, um, a mix of, like, Joseph Vargo and... That Amy something or other with the fairies and the cheesy ass fairies. Yeah, her her work just kind of reminds me of like both of them. And oh, he's pretty. He's pretty. Oh God, what is twenty eight? That's my lucky number. And maybe I should go through this one again. The colorless Duke decisions, new path, ideas. Okay, maybe maybe I do, because I was looking through these the other day and at the uh, Witches' Night Out at Crazy Wisdom that a friend of mine, uh, she's very clear that, um, Moira, she's very clear that, you know, the uh, the group doesn't belong to, you know, the group in the, you know, monthly outings, which is like second Tuesday of every month. You know, this doesn't belong to any one person, um, you know, but... Yeah, she is the one who, more often than not, you know, does the, uh, the Facebook, um, announcement for the meetups and all that, and that just fell, and I'm going to pick it up in a bit. So yeah, I was looking through these, cause, uh, cause she started this now, um, and she's got this little, like, wheelie, um, bag that she puts them all in, and I'll put these down there, um, because I picked up some books at last month's uh, Witches' Night Out gathering, and, you know, it's one of those, like, kind of, like, take a book, leave a book kind of things, so, like, you can bring back the books after you finish them, uh, you can donate, you know, some of your own books that you don't want to have around anymore. I found some books that I don't really need to have around anymore, so um, I'm going to be bringing those on Tuesday, so, yeah, this coming Tuesday. Um, and I was thinking of bringing that, uh, that, um, shit, that deck that I just looked at, and I just brain farted on the woman's name. Yeah, so I was thinking of bringing that deck, but, like, now that I'm looking through it again, because I remember, when I first got it, I, I kind of loved it, and I kind of loved, and I really loved, like, how that, you know, was it, Amy Brown? Amy Brown, is that the fairy artist? I know I've got some goddamn buttons... I think a friend of mine gave them to me ages and ages ago, and it's like, I've never put them on anything. They're still on the card. I've got half a mind to uh, put them up on eBay as a vintage, because um, they're from Hot Topic. <laughs> Is Amy Brown? Is that it? Yeah, and I really liked the, uh, I, I just kind of had this, like, um, you know, sort of, like, guilty love, you know, this guilty pleasure in that you know, the, uh, Victoria Francis, is that a Victoria Francis? I know Francis is in there some, is in her name somewhere. Can't believe I just brain farted on her own name, and I was just talking about it a minute ago. And I love that cheesy, like, you know, Vic, um, Joseph Vargo meets Amy Brown. I'm gonna say Amy Brown. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, please. Um, but then, like, you know, I had it around for a while, and I didn't use it as much anymore, um, and... I kind of thought, you know, and I, and I kind of, like, got, went back and forth. It's like, is this too cheesy? Is it? Is it? I don't know. But, yeah, like, looking at it again, I think... I think I might, you know, hold on to it for a bit more. Um, this one, this is one of, like, literally three tarot decks I own. Like, you know, proper tarot. This is called the Silver Era Tarot. Um, uh, let's see, the description on the back... And I got this at Crazy Wisdom ages and ages ago. Um, this was on um, a lot of downtown businesses in Ann Arbor um, during art fair. Uh, they will have just, like, sometimes they'll just have, like, shit at, like, a, a 
total, like, we're just not, we're, we're probably not even going to break even on selling you this, you know, sort of sales tables. And this was originally marked like $25, yeah, $24.99. Um, and I had a green sticker. And I know right now, green stickers are 50% off. But I think this was on a table at, I, I know this was on a table at Art Fair, but I think it was marked down like, you know, to even like half of the of the original markdown price. So I got it for something like five dollars, uh, which was really nice. And I kind of like this. Let's see, it says, uh, yeah, contemporary approach uh, brings life to a classic subject in this stylishly functional tarot deck. Black and white images uh, of grace and beauty highlighted with a single color accent on each card. And I just, I really like this. Like, I don't think I've ever used it once, but it's just, you know, like the, uh, the, the pictures on this are just so beautiful. This is so beautiful, and it goes a lot with that, uh, you know, kind of like art deco and everything around my apartment. So, yeah, it says Silver Era Tarot, and so it does, you know, a lot of the pictures, even though... Some of them are just clearly painting. Some of them are, I'm pretty sure that, you know, they're not, like, original paintings, like, you know, like, original, original, like, but I think they're instead, like, touched up, like, uh, like this one here. I'm pretty sure that's a touched up photo, but some of them look more like digital paintings, so, um, uh, I've used this one once or twice, at, you know, for a reading. This is uh, Taro Mucha, after uh, Alphonse Mucha, the, uh, uh, one of my exes insists on pronouncing his surname as Maka, which, like, even you go to Wikipedia and you play the little sample of, um, of how it's pronounced and it sounds nothing, you know, like Maka. It's Mucha. Um, so yeah, this is just, you know, it's a, fairly basic, straightforward tarot deck, and that's just the, uh, um, card. So yeah, like, it's just a straightforward tarot deck with art very much inspired by Alphonse Mucha. That's another one that I really liked in here. Oh, the tower's gorgeous. Yeah, it's just, it's a straightforward tarot, just with, you know, Art Nouveau, um, art, you know, just with Art Nouveau art in the, specifically giving a nod to Alphonse Mucha. I don't think any of these are his original drawings. Uh, that is very much, you know, um, altered from one of his drawings, but, yeah, I don't think there's any of these in here that are original drawings of Mucha, but... Get in there. Like I said, I've used it once or twice. Uh, I don't think I'll ever... Oh, yeah, that's another... That's another, um... You know, it's very much, you know, just edited slightly, you know, like... <laughs> you know, it's all but a copy of Mooka. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to get rid of this. This is beautiful. And here is the third, just straight-up tarot deck, and... This, I just, there's no reason I got this other than it is, it is the, uh, it is the Black Cat Tarot. It's, it's, it's a little on the cheesier side, but it's cute, because we got kitties. We got kitties. We got kitties. Yes. And I've got three black cats. This deck, though, I really like this. And it is it is creepy how accurate the couple of readings I've done from it have been. I've only... I've had this... I want to say I picked this... Oh, I did only pick this up in uh, um, early December. Um, I got this. No, last day of November. Ah, whatever. November 30th, December 1st, whatever. But yeah, I've had this not even five weeks. Uh, it's Black Moon Astrology Cards. Oh, what's the card that really sold me 
on this. I was just looking through the, uh, the little demo deck at Crazy Wisdom, and there was this one card that just, like, jumped right the fuck out at me when I was looking through them. Not that one. Though that is gorgeous. The uh, Black Moon Lilith card. Was it this one? No, no. I would know by now from looking at it, but that's that's beautiful, too. That's uh, the moon. Yeah, yeah, it was this one. This just this is just such a spooky card, and it's just, it's just, this, this one just jumped right the fuck out at me, and I was like, okay, yeah, I've got to get this deck, so I had them order it because all they had, at, you know, when I was looking at it, uh, I want to say second... Um, Tuesday in November. Uh, all they had was the demo deck, and, you know, they like to have that on hand just because, you know, so people can look at them and be like, you know, hey, can you order me this one? Um, so yeah, I was like that. I was like, hey, you gotta order me this one, because I just, I looked through this, and I just, I need this deck in my life. And like I said, the couple of readings I've done with it so far in less than five weeks. It's like, oh gosh, this is, this is one spooky uki deck, but I love it. I love it. And then here's a, here's this one. This is a new one. So this is published by U.S. Game Systems, um, out of Connecticut, but you know, they've got the, uh, the Tarot for the Fool as their logo, so... You know, they're using game systems very loosely <laughs> in uh, their definition. This is Oracle of Mystic Moments, and like I said, I just, I love me my wacky-ass, you know, Oracle decks that aren't your standard tarot. Um, if I'm getting a tarot, it's just... This is going to be because I like the deck, not because I'm going to use it especially often, if at all. <laughs> um, seriously? Oh, they do not want me to get through this plastic. This, I, I really love this one. Oh god, what's that spooky-ass card that jumped right the fuck out at me? This is another one where I was just, like, looking through them, you know, the demo deck, and I was just, like... That's not it, but that is just beautiful. And, uh, so, goddamn, where did it go? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is one that really jumped out at me. And I was just like, I probably need this deck. And there was a second one, to, though. This is just beautiful. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this one, this one really came out at me. I love this one. This is just so pretty. Oh, yeah. This one, this one really caught my eye, too. Uh, yeah. So, there we go. There's my, uh, there's my Cardamancy decks. And this is the bottom of this box. And, uh, and, you know, one of my, uh, resolutions is that I really want to get around to doing a, uh, uh, weekly reading. I don't think I'm going to do any live over YouTube just yet, but... Um, who knows, maybe later this year, uh, but yeah, this is just, and I got and picked up a new deck today, and uh, it was already budgeted for, um, and yeah, this is just, like I said, this is just, this is just so spooky, how, <laughs> and I think that's it for right now, and I'm gonna, uh, finish scripting the, uh, the three-part Possibly four, now that I'm thinking about it more. But no, I could probably keep it to three. Um, for the, uh, for the other ones. And I will at least film the first part this week of that. Uh, and I also gotta work on my video book report for Breeding Discontent, which I am... I I'm like five pages from being done with it. And I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, but on the bus... I just got so caught up in scripting the other one. I was just like, you know what? The book is going to be there, but if I let any of this leave my head without putting it down, I'm probably going to forget, you know, exactly what I wanted to say um, for a couple days. So 
All right. Uh, bats and kisses, sweetheart. And I love you all so much. And take care of yourselves. And goodbye.